Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You may have seen that I've already done some Law of Attraction and Secret videos. So today I'm gonna to be doing another video based on that, but on how you can raise your vibration. And the reason why I'm doing this is for people that really, really wanna implement the secret into their lives. So I'm gonna be telling you nine ways to increase your vibration. So I'm gonna get straight into the video and start with the first one, which is to give. Giving is so, so important. And whenever you give, you've gotta give out of love and for the sake of giving. A lot of people will do stuff in life, even religious people will do things and they'll think, right, I'm gonna do this in order to get into heaven, but they're not actually doing it because they want to do it. And when you give, whether you give love, whether you give advice, whether you give something physical, like money, maybe to a charity, whatever you do to give, whatever you give, you've got to mean it and it's got to come from the heart. What goes around comes around. You may have heard of karma. Karma is real. Karma is just nature. It's just what you put out, you get back. And that is a fact. That is just the way energy works. So whenever you give something, you're gonna get something back. I have given stuff in the past to friends, to so people that needed the money or needed something. And when I was in need, I got stuff too, but not necessarily from the same people, but I still got so much help when I needed it. And if I can help someone in any way, shape or form, like I'm helping you now, um, I will do that because why not? It's not harming me by helping people and I love doing that. So yeah, giving is really, really important in receiving. My second point is, feel a sense of happiness. So there's some times where I sit in my home and I'm like, I am so lucky Like yesterday I sat there and I was just so happy and in awe of my home. And I just thought, you are so lucky, Grace, of what you have. And I just feel so elated and so happy. There's so many other things that make me feel that way, like animals, like my little baby cousin, watching something that I really love watching, like one of my favorite TV shows that just makes me feel so elated and think, oh, this is amazing. Um, so do things that make you feel like that. And that will increase your vibration as well. Feeling good is so key in getting what you want. And if you don't feel good, you can't really expect to get much because you need to feel that good to attract it. Obviously when you feel good, you're giving out good energy and positive energy and you need as much of that as you can to attract what you want into your life. My next point is solitude. A lot of people do not like being on their own and it's, I think it's more of a thing where you're not used to being on your own. When you're on your own, you're with your own thoughts and that is what's needed to be in the present and you obviously need to be in the present in order to get what you want. Being aware of what you're thinking and just really thinking about a situation or thinking about whatever it is that you need to work out in your head, you need that time. And really, it's weird I speak about this because the last few days I've had time off work. So it's been super, super cold, so I've not really made much plans apart from doing my videos. So it's already before Christmas because I know I'm gonna have a busy week. Um, so I have been really spending a lot of time by myself and in a way it's been so good because I feel like I'm detoxing and I'm thinking about what I'm gonna change for next year. When you're on your own, you increase your productivity because you have got more time to concentrate on you and more time to be creative. And also you have more of an identity and you know yourself more and you're more comfortable within yourself. You're like, this is me, like, and you accept it. Whereas when you're with other people, sometimes you can get lost in their identity or you become a group of identity. But when you spend time on your own, you are you and you know where you're going and you've got your own path that you need to lead. My next point is challenge yourself. Not many people challenge themselves in this world. <laughs> people are often scared of failure. People are often scared of doing something they're not used to doing. To combat fear, is a really amazing task to do because the only thing in life that stops us from doing what we need to do is fear. If you think about it, if you were fearless completely, think of all the things you would do because you wouldn't be scared. If you try and challenge yourself sometimes and think, right, I'm a bit scared to do a bit of public speaking or I'm a bit scared to do whatever it may be and you do it, think how good you will feel, number one, and two, it's combating fear. So whatever it is that you want in your life, you'll feel like I can actually do this because I've done that, so I can do this. And then as time goes on, things will be less and less challenging for you and life will become easier. Um, we cannot expect anything in life without a bit of work. So the less we fear, the more powerful we will become. The next thing I'll talk about is research. 
research is something that's really helped me because when I read The Secret, when I looked up the law of attraction and everything like that, I was like, okay, this book is like really good. It all sounds really, really amazing, but where's the proof? So I went online, I've watched so many celebrities talk in interviews and say exactly what the law of attraction is. They've not necessarily said that this is the secret, but they've said they visualized this moment their whole life. They knew they were gonna be famous. They knew they were gonna be an actress. They said they act as if they had it already. So many wealthy people know about positive thinking and the law of attraction, so many. And the more research you do, the more you will believe in yourself. And that in itself is so powerful because the more you believe, the quicker things will come and the more easy things will come to you. So we just need you to believe in it. Even you watching this video right now is showing your researching, which is amazing. Especially on Oprah and stuff like that. She's interviewed a lot of people that have talked about the secret and that have used the secret. Jim Carrey, for instance, Will Smith, and also a more current one, Conor McGregor, he wasn't on Oprah, but if you watch his interviews and what he speaks about and how he got where he got to, that is what he talks about. He talks about the secret. If you watch his story on how quickly he's become a multi-millionaire, you will then start thinking, wow. The next thing I wanna talk about is talking. So I know in my videos I'm like, think positively, don't have any negative thoughts and stuff like that. Naturally we're human beings, naturally things happen, social things happen which we can't control. It's like you being a really good driver but the other drivers on the road aren't so good and then you have a crash or then they get in your way or whatever it is, you need to complain about it to someone and it's okay to express yourself and say, look, this person's done this to me. We cannot control others, we can only control ourselves. So if you feel like you need to get something off your chest and you need to talk to your friends, obviously close friends that are gonna be there for you and supportive, then do it. Don't ever feel like you can't talk about it and suppress your emotions. Talk about whatever it is that's bothering you. Obviously talk about good things you love as well, ideally, but if there's anything ever bothering you, don't ever feel like you can't talk about it. However, there's a difference between talking about your problems and there's also a difference between being negative all the time and moaning all the time. So as long as you are someone who has genuine problems and you need to work them out, even if they're small problems, they might be big to you, if you can talk about it to someone, do that. Never keep things in and it really helps you because sometimes when you talk about something, I know myself, it's like you puzzle it together and sometimes you're over it after you've spoken about it. I will promote talking and expressing yourself is so, so important in life anyway and you need to express yourself, obviously in a good manner. And when you do that, visualize it leaving your body and leave it there and go on to the next thing. Don't let it consume you. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is food. <laughs> food, I love food but you are what you eat, and that is true. So when you eat rubbish, I know myself, if I'm eating things like pasta, pizza, which I love, by the way, um, it feels so good at the time, like donuts. Yeah, it tastes so nice for them. 10 minutes you're eating it, but afterwards I feel like rubbish. And feeling like rubbish isn't gonna help lift your vibrations, because yes, at that present moment when you was eating it, yes, she was happy, but then afterwards, you feel like crap. There's so many things you can eat that are healthy and that taste good. If you really, really wanna implement the secret into your life and you really wanna increase your vibrations quickly and get things in your life quickly, then eating raw food is supposed to be the best, but just eating healthily, eating your greens, um, don't eat too many carbs. I love carbs, so I'm guilty of that myself. Um, so yeah, eating well, don't sit there eating biscuit after biscuit, crisps after crisps, while you're watching telly, because that's gonna make you feel sluggish, that's gonna make you feel tired. It's not the greatest thing to eat, and it's also not good for your health, so you need to be healthy, you need to have a healthy mind as well, as there's no point doing all of these things and then you're at home every day eating pizza and kebab, like, what's the point? And you're not gonna feel very good after you've eaten it. Which brings me on to the next thing, which is exercise. I wouldn't say exercise is compulsory, but exercise releases endorphins. Even if you're just stretching, going for a long walk, it releases endorphins, which is the happy hormone, which you want more of, obviously. And when you do more exercise, you feel happier. Whether it might be because you look better, whether it might be because you are happier because of the hormones, um, it's always a great thing to do. I know it's like a real chore sometimes to go to the gym or go for a walk or go for a run, but you always will feel better afterwards. It's like the reverse of 
of eating junk food. At the time when you eat junk food, it feels so good, but then afterwards you feel sluggish. With exercise, when you're doing it, sometimes it feels good, but then afterwards you feel even better because you're like, yes, I've done that. And it makes you feel good that you've even done that, even if you didn't want to do that, if you get what I mean. Also, it releases toxins in your body, which you need to get rid of all the badness out of your body. So releasing toxins is amazing. So you're just cleansing out your body. And my last point is having a purpose. So I always say you could do all these things, but if you haven't got a goal or an aim or a focus, it's almost like you're just living and you're not really doing it for anything. I believe having a focus is so vital. Having a focus, whether it's to save money, whether it's to find a partner, whether it's to renovate your home, whether it's to get your dream career, whatever it may be, it keeps you going. You need to have an aim in life because as I've said in my other videos, if you don't think about what you want next in your life, your life will be exactly the same the following year and the following year and the following year. So you need to think of a aim. And when you have an aim as well, it makes you feel good. I'm gonna be doing a video soon and talking about my aim in like a really casual chat. It's always good to keep it moving. You only live once and life is so short. So you need to make the most of life, especially for those who are not able to do the things you are able to do. And that's where the basics of the secret comes in, gratitude. You need to be grateful for what you have. You've got to be grateful for the fact you can step foot on the floor and walk to work. Because there's so many people out there that cannot do the things that you can do. So for me, I always see it like you're living for, not living for people, but you need to be appreciative of what you can do and make the most of it. Because there's people that would do anything to be in your position. There's so many things that we all take for granted. Like even myself, sometimes I sit there and, I like, think, God, this isn't going right. And then I think, no, like, snap out of it. You're so lucky you've got all of this. Stop moaning about silly things and make your life better. Work harder. Do whatever you need to do to make your life better. And luckily, the world is your oyster. If you're a healthy human being, you can do anything you put your mind to. And I say this all the time. Another vibration people have spoken about as well, I just want to say, is being on foot on the ground and also being in water, like the sea. Um, and they say, because you're closer to the core, Maybe there is some truth in that. Because I'm in a built up city, it's really difficult to feel that. But I'm still on the ground. <laughs> we haven't got to see, unfortunately. But I, yeah, I always appreciate nature all the time. And I try and get out as much as possible. But yeah, that is another way of increasing your vibration. So I really hope you found this video inspiring and helpful. And you will achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. If you have any other suggestions on what you do to increase your vibration, to attract the things that you want to attract in the law of attraction, please leave them in the comment section below as it may help people and also it's giving, um, which is always good to give. If you like this video, please like and subscribe if you have done so already and I'll see you in my next video.